All right, so the first laptop that I'm gonna recommend is the HP Envy X360, and it's a 13 inch laptop, 13.3 inches. This is a full HD display. It has the IPS, like I talked about inside of there, which is really, really good. You're gonna get some good color accuracy. Uh, it's a touchscreen laptop, so it's actually a two-in-one. So you can actually use a stylus probably. I don't think it'll have the pressure sensitivities, but you're actually gonna be able to use it like a tablet, which is really neat. A lot of the laptops are going this direction and a number of the ones that I'm picking for you guys also are going this direction. As you can see here, this thing is the 11th gen of the i7. So this thing has evolved many, many times over. It's got eight gigabytes of rem memory or RAM, as I was talking about. It has a 512 gigabyte solid state hard drive, pale gold, which is interesting. It must be the color. It's got the backlight keyboard, as I mentioned. It even has a fingerprint reader, Thunderbolt display, which is neat, and Wi-Fi 6, which is the most, which is the latest Wi-Fi. So you can get some quick speeds on your internet, which is really, really great as well. Uh, it does run on Windows 10, and there's some other specs that you can see within here. What I wanted to show you is I scroll down, and you can look at these things here on your computer or on Amazon if you search these computers. As you scroll down, and you'll see where is it at here? Graphics co-processor. So what's gonna be different here is you're gonna have some laptops that are gonna have integrated processors. So some of these laptops are gonna have internal graphics cards and some of them are gonna have external. This one actually has an internal one and I did a lot of research on the Iris XE graphics card and it actually is really good for lightweight gaming but it's also gonna work great for graphics. So this is gonna be more than adequate for what you need and this computer here comes in at a whole whopping price of 878 bucks on Amazon. I'm not an affiliate of Amazon in any way. I'm not getting paid for this but this is a really, really good price. This is something to consider. Now number two is the Asus which is who makes a lot of motherboards the asus rog zephyrus g14 this is a 14 inch so slightly larger it is vr ready which is virtual reality if you don't know what that is it has the full hd display it is a gaming laptop eight cores like remember i talked about having more cores and it has the amd ryzen 9 which is great and then it has the beat i7 i don't know what exactly what beat i7 but i have a feeling it's really really fast has 16 gigs of ram one terabyte solid state drive which is amazing the backlight keyboard uh, has the wi-fi 6 has the usb c remember we talked about usb c and it has the ge force rtx 2060 graphics card inside there which is really 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 fast which is awesome and this one is a little bit more but it's 1299 bucks and i really think it's a pretty nice looking computer um it's not as nice as apple i'm just uh, probably a little biased at this point but it's a really nice laptop and again if you scroll down you can see here where it talks about the graphics processor i think it's a little further there you go graphics nvidia so this is an external nvidia ge force rtx 2060 max q this is going to be more than adequate. It's a dedicated video card. This is going to be a fast enough computer. It'll be great for graphic design, motion design, or web design. Laptop number three. This is the HP Elite Dragonfly home and business laptop, which is also a two-in-one. Now it has the lower grade um, uh, processor inside of it. It only has four cores, so about half the amount of power, uh, but it does have 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is great. It has the terabyte solid state drive, the Intel U UHD um, 620, which is nice. It has a 13.3 inch monitor, so it's going to be a little bit smaller than the last one, 1920 by 1080, but you'll notice it doesn't say IPS in here. I don't believe it has the IPS. I think you're going to miss out on that, and it definitely doesn't say anything about Wi-Fi 6. Um, it definitely has Bluetooth, which is great. It has a webcam, which is another feature you should be thinking about um, unless you're going to use an external program for your webcam. And then it has a USB hub. So overall, you can pick the different options in here. This laptop runs about 1800 bucks, but I wanted to show you this here. So this one also has an integrated, so you can see it here, card description, an integrated Intel graphics card. This is probably going to be a little bit lower end but it's still going to keep up with the the basic graphics and and uh even a little bit of video editing i wouldn't do after effects in this just premiere but this is a good computer this is going to be something if you're trying to get in and get a nice two-in-one laptop uh, i would highly recommend this one all right number four let's jump over to dell uh, dell has been a big player in the computer laptop game for many many years and this dell xps 15 is a great one it's a 15.5 15.6 inch just like my macbook pro um, it has the i7 in it it's got the 10th generation so not the 11th generation 
32 gigs of DDR4 RAM, which is awesome. The terabyte solid state drive, and it has a 4K UHD display, which is really, really powerful. Has the 500 NIT Touch NVIDIA GE Force 1650 Ti graphics card, which is fast. It is screaming fast with four gigabytes of dedicated video memory, it looks like here. So this is a really, really nice one. But again, you're gonna be here, right here at the same pricing as a actual MacBook Pro. I don't see a huge difference between this and the MacBook Pro in terms of the pricing. And overall, I would probably, just for me personally, I would go with the MacBook Pro. Uh, I would like this computer. I think it would fit your needs. But if you have this kind of money to spend, why not just get a Mac? Unless you're just sworn enemy against Mac and you don't wanna do a Mac computer, uh, I would really recommend this computer because I think it's great. It also has a dedicated graphics card, so an external, it's built into it, but it's dedicated. It's not like built into the motherboard. Uh, and it's an NVIDIA GTX 1650 Ti. This is a great one. Highly recommend this laptop. All right, let's get to number five. Number five is an Acer. Believe it or not, I actually started my career as a graphic designer on an Acer until I got out of the car and I dropped it on the ground and cracked the screen. Had to use an external monitor on that thing for like six months before I could afford to buy a new one. Trust me, I know what it's like to have struggles and to not be able to afford an expensive computer. My Acer was like bottom of the barrel, lowest level Acer you could get, and I was able to make it work. This Acer here is probably the coolest Acer. If I didn't have a MacBook, I think I would probably go with this one, to be honest. This is the Acer Concept D3 Easel. Like how they spell Easel there. Um, it actually is convertible creator laptop. I'll get a little bit more into detail on this, but it's got the Intel i7 as well. GE Force GTX 1650. You'll notice the Max Q, just like the other one, has a 14 inch full HD screen has Gorilla Glass, which is gonna be awesome from scratches and breaks and things like that. You won't run into the same issues that I had. It's got Pantone validated. This is a graphics person's computer with 100% sRGB, which is awesome. 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512, uh, 512 gigabytes of solid state drive, and it has a Wacom pen, which means it will pick up the pressure sensitivities. You can draw on it, and it's super, super neat. What I wanted to show you here and what I wrote down in my notes to go over, as you'll see here, this actually has six different positions that you can position this laptop. Check this out. So here we go, you can see it right here. Has laptop, float, share, display, pad, and stand. It's got the color accuracy guaranteed. It's got a lot of the features that you're gonna need, backlit keyboard. Uh, it's just a phenomenal computer. Out of all the ones I'm gonna show you today on the PC style, if you're a graphic designer, this is what I'm gonna tell you to, to check out first. You can get some uh, faster versions of this. I think they have a faster version. Yeah, it looks like they do. But this one right here is only 1299 bucks. This is probably your best balance. It's got a lot of features. It's got the pen. It's got a lot of the things that you're gonna need. So I highly recommend this one. This is the one that I would probably pick out of all of them so far. And we're gonna go ahead and jump onto number six. Number six is a Lenovo ThinkPad. Uh, this is kind of a little bit more of a clunkier. It doesn't have the same style as some of these other ones that I've showed you. ThinkPad is kind of a more of a, a worker, work horse kind of laptop. It's not the coolest looking one, but it actually works really well. This is the P1, the ThinkPad P1, Gen 3, 15.6 inch full HD screen, has the IPS, so it'll get you good clarity, good uh, color matching, anti-glare Dolby Vision, which is awesome, uh, 500 nits, which is part of the graphics card. It's got the i7, it has six cores, so some of these other ones I showed you had four, uh, which is great, and it's got the NVIDIA Quattro, so this has got an integrated uh, graphics card as well with 32 gigs of RAM. So this is a fast, fast, fast computer, and it has the one terabyte solid state drive with Windows 10, and it's also 1799 bucks, which is just a few hundred dollars cheaper than what a MacBook Pro would cost you. And I think they are raising the prices on the MacBook Pro, so this is probably a three to $400 difference between the two, but if you're just trying to save a buck, this could be a really great option for you. Now the last one, and I told you I was gonna make this the very last one, is the one and only MacBook Pro. Not a lot of computers can hold a candle to the MacBook Pro. They've really design designed a beautiful piece of art and a beautiful piece of technology. This is why a lot of graphics people use these. It has an eight core processor, 16 inch retina display, which is beautiful. Eight terabyte solid state drive. The AMD Radeon, see they have good graphics. An ADM, ADM, AMD Radeon Pro 5000M series graphics card. 
which is super fast, screaming fast, and up to 64 gigabytes of RAM with an incredible sound system. I can tell you personally, I use my audio on my computer and on my iPad Pro all the time. The audio on these things is amazing. You can go deeper and deeper into the specs and learn more about the display. It'll talk about the brightness, 500 nits. It'll talk about all these other things. But these are the computers that I would recommend. If you want a great computer for graphics, this is the master list. I hope this one will give you exactly what you need. I have had a lot of people ask me this, and so I wanted to answer this question. I really love this types of topics, and I want to record more content around computers and technology and some of the things that we're using on a day-to-day -day basis. So if there's another technology you want to know about, maybe it's lighting, maybe it's cameras, maybe it's audio, whatever that is, let me know, drop a comment. I want to hear from you. I'm just really grateful that you were along on this journey with me. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if this helped you. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.